You're watching a Mass Samuel Kim Production. An angles and angle measure part two. I tried to split this up into two videos because I thought putting it all together would just have been a little bit too much. But this one should be one of the shorter videos that we've done so far this year. Okay. Remember last time we learned about angles, and of course when we learned about angles we learned something called radian measure. Well, let's try to apply all that stuff we were in last day to arcs, which are really a part of the entire crust or circumference. Okay, I talk about crust because I like P. I like pie, right? Not the pie, the number, but like eating pie. Mmm, blueberry pie. <sighs> Good stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, so let's apply it to arcs, which is the crust or the circumference, uh, or part of the circumference, I should say, and sector areas, which I'm talking about the actual area or a piece of the entire pie. So, for example here, i like to show that all arcs that are subtended, I should say, by a right angle, so I should write down the word by a right angle, 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians, have the same central angle, but they have different arc lengths, and of course different areas, depending on the radius of the circle. So what I mean by that is this, okay, let's look at this diagram here, okay, I've got an arc that is subtended by a right angle, so let me just create a right angle here. Okay, so here's my right angle, right, pi over 2. Well, notice what we're saying here is that, hey, this in green is my arc. Okay, and notice here, if I were to extend this same right angle to the larger circle, it's the same subtended angle, it's the same central angle, but notice here, that my arc, of course, is longer. Okay, and so what does the arc depend on? Well, it really just depends on the radius, right? The longer the radius, the longer the arc, the shorter the radius, the shorter the arc. It's the same thing here with the area. So if you look at the area, right? Small sector versus the whole entire sector, okay? So what I'm going to ask you to do is let's see if we can find a formula to calculate the arc length. And I'm also going to extend this to see if you can find the formula to calculate the sector angle. Okay. Now to do so, I'm going to ask you to compare. Okay. Do some comparisons and let's write some ratios. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Going from the left to the right, the ratio of angle at center to the complete rotation. So what I'm saying here is, if I've got an angle, okay, let's say this is my angle theta, I'm going to ask you to find the ratio as a fraction, okay, of the angle at the center to the complete rotation. So the angle at the center, of course, is theta. The complete rotation, remember one rotation is equal to how much? Yes, it's 2 pi. So I'm going to note, okay. One rotation is equal to two pi radians. That's why it's theta over two pi. Okay. Well, what about the ratio of the arc length created by the angle? So I guess that would be this here. Let's call that A. To the circumference of the circle. Well, I guess that's A. Okay, once again, A stands for arc length. And what I want you to understand is that the ratio should be A over, what's the circumference? What's the entire thing? Well, the circumference is just 2 pi r. Okay. Now, if I were to talk about the sector angle, that's now this piece of the pi. Okay. Well, we call that the sector area. Let me use the capital A to represent sector area. So it'd be the sector area created by that and I'm taking this to the ratio of the area of the entire circle, and that would be pi r squared. Okay. Now, we're going to use this chart to help us with the following. 
Let's see if you can find the formula for arc length. What I'd like you to do now is compare the ratio of the angle to the ratio of the arc length. So I want you to compare the first two boxes. We're going to take theta over 2 pi, that's comparison of the angles, and make this equal to a over 2 pi r. Okay. Well, this looks kind of messy, so let's just cross multiply to simplify. Cross multiply. So I have 2 pi r theta is equal to 2 pi a. Notice both sides have a 2, which we can divide out, and also a pi we can divide out. So all we're left here is really a equals to r theta. Or writing it again, arc length here is just equal to the radius times the theta. Radius. This is the angle. And make sure you know this is an angle in radians. Okay, not degrees, but radians. So this formula, A equals to R theta, really is the formula for the arc length of a circle. And it works for any circle, provided that theta is measured once again in radians, because we're now talking about radian measure. And both little a and R are in the same units. Okay. Well, the next one is sector area. So I'm going to ask you to once again compare the ratio of the angle to the ratio of the sector area. And, sorry, sector angle. So I'm going to keep using that theta over 2 pi. But this time, instead of little a, I'm going to use the other ratio, the one over here in the third box. So that would be the sector angle. That's capital A over pi r squared. Once again, I'm going to ask you to cross multiply to try to simplify. Theta pi r squared equals to a times 2 pi. I guess the pi's divide out. I'm looking for a, so I'm going to take this theta r squared and divide it by 2. Sometimes people write it like the following. They'll say sector area is equal to theta over 2 times r squared. Okay. So this formula here is capital A, that equals to theta over 2r squared. This is the formula for the sector area of a circle, and it works for any circle, once again, provided that theta is measured in radians. And both capital A and R are in the same units. All right, these are the two major formulas for today. So I'm going to ask you to turn the page, and let's see if you can practice using them. Okay, so determine the arc length and the sector area subtended by each central angle. Leave the answers in exact form. Okay, so pretty straightforward arc length. That's the formula A equals to R theta. I know R is 20. Theta here, remember, is must be in radians. It already is in radians. That's perfect. I'm going to multiply this out. That's just the same thing as 20 over 1, so that's 100 pi over 6. Or if you want to simplify, that's 50 pi over 3. And of course, the units are the same. They're centimeters. We're done. Okay. Doing the same thing for sector area now. Capital A equals to theta over 2r squared. Theta seems to be 5 pi over 6. I got this over 2. I'm just going to put that in front like a half just makes it look nicer. And then R we know is 20, so that's 20 squared. We're going to multiply this out. 20 squared is 400. A half of 400, sorry, I'll say a half of 5 pi over 6 of 400. Well, let's simplify. That becomes 200. That becomes 100. So probably a nice answer here would be equal to, how about 500 pi all over 3. And the units would be centimeters squared. Okay. 
Right, try the next one on your own, but be careful. This one says a central angle of 135. And remember, for all these questions, your angle theta is measured in, yes, radians. So please change the 135 degrees into radians first. I'm going to use my unit conversion factors. Remember pi and 180. That, I think, simplifies because they can both be divided by 45. So that's 3 pi over 4. Okay. And let's do our calculations then. Arc length equals to A equals R theta. R is 16. Theta is 3 pi over 4. That seems to be equal to 12 pi. And once again, same units, so millimeters. Looking at sector area, A equals to theta over 2R squared. Once again, in this case, theta is 3 pi over 4. I'm going to put the divide by 2 as a half in front. Just makes life a little bit easier. R is 16, so we're going to do 16 all squared. Let's see, 16 squared is, I think, 256. Going to simplify that with the half to become 128. The 4 becomes 32. 32 times 3, how about 96 pi millimeters squared? Okay. If you can't do the simplifying like I did, just use your calculator. It's okay. All right, let's try example number two. Two says in the Olympics, a shot put is thrown out of a circle. I don't know if you've seen that during the last London Olympics, but that's what they do when they do shot put. And notice it has a radius of R. A curved wooden stop board, that would be this piece here. Hint, 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 what do we call that? That's AKA, also known as the arc length. It's placed in an arc around part of the circle. The central angle is 65.6. Oops, that's 6. That looks like a 5. Uh, 6. Determine the radius if the length of the stop board is 5 feet long. Round to do decimal places. Well, I just told you. Arc length, right? So A equals to R theta. A seems to be equal to 5. Equals to R, but what's theta? It's not 65.6. Remember, theta is always in radians. So it's time to convert. Go ahead, please, and convert that. This one's not so fun. 65.6. Times pi divided by 180. That's 1.1449. 1.1449. Dot, 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 dot. Keep going. Which means that your theta here must be 1.1449. Dot, 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 dot. So if I want to solve for r, I guess r just equals to 5 divided by 1.1449. Dot, 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 dot. And so on my calculator, I'm just going to go 5 divided by, not typing that again, I'm just going to use the word answer. And that gives me this, 4.37 or 367. And because I asked you to round to two decimal places, I believe the final answer here would be then R equals to 4.37 feet. All right, knowing this, here's my last question. What would be the sector area of the shot put? Meaning, find the area of the piece of pi. Area or sector area has a quick formula. Capital A equals to theta over 2R squared. Theta, we know, is 1.1449, blah, 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 divided by 2. And we know now the radius is 4.37 all squared. 
So on your calculator now, let's put this in. We've got 1.1449. I already have this here, so I'm going to use all of them. 3, 5, 9, 8, 9. Divide by 2 times. And I'm going to use my previous answer, 4.367, so I can get the most accurate answer possible. I'll go answer squared. And there's my answer, 10.917. Or if I round this to two decimal places, how about 10.92? So 10.92 feet, and of course this is area, so it's squared. That's it. Quick and easy. Done.